want to make a difference? Do you want to change the world? <laughs> Do you want to create great experiences for others? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, I have an idea that will help you achieve those noble objectives. The idea is to organize your high school reunion. The idea is to organize your high school reunion. This will help you and you and you achieve those amazingly difficult goals to change the world through people. I know because I'm involved in this process. And it all started for me six months ago at 9.30 in the morning on Wednesday, March the 3rd. That is when I called my lifelong friend, Philip Nixon. Philip was a 61-year-old, recently retired solicitor. His wife, Carol, answered the phone. Hi, Carol. This is Roger calling from Vancouver. Can I speak to Philip, please? Yes, there was a long pause. Then Carol tearfully told me that Philip had died from cancer two hours earlier. Philip's death caused me to realize just how short, sweet, fragile life really is. Philip's death caused me to realize is that we have something important to do. We had darn well better get on and do it while we can. Philip's death gave me a kick in the bum to convert an idea that was long procrastinated around and make it a reality. And that idea was to organize my high school. Two logistical problems reared their heads immediately. The first was that mine was the class of 69. That means that for 41 years, I had had precious little contact with any of my former classmates. now after 41 years. Logistical challenge number two is that my high school was called Regent House Grammar School, located <laughs> in a little town called Newton Arts in County Down, Northern Ireland, 7,068 kilometers <laughs> east of Vancouver. Would this distance prove to be an insurmountable challenge? Fellow entrepreneurs, what technology came to my rescue and solved both problems like that? <laughs> Email. <laughs> now, six months later, the reunion is firing on all cylinders. We have firm dates, July the, June the 23rd, 4th, June the 24th, 5th, and 6th, 2011. We have found 30 of my 120 classmates, albeit in nine countries on four continents. <laughs> we have a firm plan. Each of you has a copy of this plan. And this plan lays out very simply our vision, our mission, our goals, and our core values. The current principal of Regent House Grammar School is committed to give us a guided tour of our old school on Saturday, June the 25th, 2011. Yes, we have a website, and that website is used to disseminate all information relevant to the reunion. Yes, we have a team of committed people committed to produce a reunion that is as great as it can be. In short, we are gaining traction on all fronts. This will be an amazing event. 
process of organizing this reunion has rewarded me abundantly and in strange ways. I derive tremendous satisfaction from knowing that I am the spark that has rekindled the fire of friendship for hundreds of people. I derive tremendous joy when I get up in the morning and rush to my email to see who I have not seen for over 40 years has sent me an overnight email. I derive tremendous learning. We're talking everything online, everything long distance. Leadership changes, delegation changes, project management changes, and I'm learning the skills to do all these things online, long distance, better. The reunion has also given me the opportunity to experience a great deal of sadness. I hear that several of my classmates are dead. Currently the number is three and rising. But even this dark cloud has a silver lining. And this silver lining is that it forces me to reevaluate my life and tweak my priorities. Fellow Toastmasters, it takes a certain amount of time, minimum a year, to conceive of the reunion, to enroll others in your vision, to find your former classmates, and to design events. But this time is very, very well spent. If you choose to use a reunion as an opportunity to act out your desire to change the world, to make people's lives better, then I urge you, don't dilly-dally, get on with this. Don't wait. Don't wait.